Into Sydney Harbour steam heavy units of the British Pacific Fleet. HMS Indefatigable arrived in Sydney, Australia on the 10th of February 1945 to a hero's welcome. I want to find out about the Williams family who threw a 21st birthday party there for my grandfather. So I'm meeting social historian Professor Joe Fox. Joe, I've got this. Um, this is an invitation to my grandfather's 21st birthday party. That's indefatigable. And I've learned a little bit about their time in Australia, but I wondered if you knew anything else. Sydney was such an important port for the Pacific War. British ships could come to refuel, refit, restock. And in Sydney itself, there was the British Centre. And that was a place where your grandfather and all these servicemen could go and relax. It could house 1,200 people. It also provide 6,000 meals a day. They had a dance hall that could house 3,000, and that included a roster mm. of 300 dance hostesses wow. who would come and, and partner up. Volunteering? Volunteering. Wow. The British Centre was supposed to be a home from home, but mm. of course, a centre like that couldn't really give that personal experience. Yeah. And 12,500 New South Wales families opened their doors to what were effectively strangers, mm. taking them on board, looking after them. And of course, you know broadly mm. where your grandfather uh, was residing, yes. and that was in Bellevue Hill in Sydney. Yeah. And I've been looking a little bit at that area, mm. and it's quite an affluent area. Oh, really? We found some images of Bellevue oh, in, wow. in this period. Yeah, it's so beautiful. close to the water and so green and looks like a peaceful place to be. Yeah, and we found some pictures of the family he lived with. Oh. Here's David. Yeah. Here's Doris. These are their daughters. This is Joy and this is Elaine. Oh, my goodness. So this is your grandfather's adopted family. That's amazing. And Joy's still alive. Oh, wow. And we've managed to get in touch with her. Oh. And she's written you a letter. Oh, no. I wonder whether you'd like to read it. Yeah. Gosh. OK. Get it together. OK. Dear Carrie, Doris and David Williams were my parents. I remember Denzel staying with us. I very much appreciated that he treated me as an adult rather than a child, and we all enjoyed having him around. Occasionally, he went to the cinema. A few times, he took me with him. If I remember rightly, Denzel was Welsh, as was my grandfather. When my father was in France during World War I, he was befriended by an English family and spent all his leaves with them. My father wanted to enable a British soldier to have the same experience during World War II. And have somewhere he could call home. Yours sincerely, Joy Harris Williams. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Lovely. He took her to the cinema with him. Mm. It's just so sweet. 